Today I'm going to show you how to create a bootable Mac OS to USB installer. You're going to go to the first website I linked in the description. This is MrMacintosh.com. You're going to click on Sonoma installer. You're going to go down and you're going to see the install assistant.pkg file. You're going to click on that to download it. Once it's downloaded, you're going to come here, you're going to click on it, and you're going to install this package. Continue, install, use Touch ID or enter your password, and it's gonna install. Once it's installed, you're gonna go to the second link I have linked in the description, which is gonna take you to apple.com. And this is a page all about creating bootable installers for macOS. You're gonna come here and you're gonna copy this entire command here. Copy. Now we're gonna go to disk utility, which is here. And for the purposes of this video, we're gonna be using uh, my untitled drive. You need a drive with at least 16 gigabytes of storage. And once you're here, you're going to hit erase. Keep the name as untitled. And make sure that Mac OS Extended Journal is selected for the format. And then you can click erase. Okay, it's erased. Once that's erased, you can close out of Disk Utility. And now we're going to open up Terminal. Okay, Terminal is open now. And what we're going to do, we're going to paste in that command we copied from apple into here and you can leave everything the same except for this part where it says my volume you need to type the name of your drive here which in my case is entitled and hit enter it's going to ask you for your password it's not going to show you typing it but it is typing it once the password is entered you can click enter to continue we need to erase the volume at volume slash untitled if you wish to continue type yes this is going to erase the drive and begin copying the files of the mac os installer to the drive so type y and hit enter and it's going to erase the disk then it's going to copy the files over yes copying the mac os recovery as you can see it has already renamed it to install mac os sonoma once it's done copying i'll be back as you can see it's making the disk bootable and it's copying the sonoma installer it's now copying to the disk should be done here as soon as at 90 percent 100 percent. there we go now just wait, it will tell you when it's ready, so do not disconnect yet. Install media now available at volumes, install macOS Sonoma. So if we go back into disk utility, we can see that the volume that was untitled is now named install macOS Sonoma, and the Sonoma install files used up 14.33 gigabytes. So now that that's done, I could show you that this actually worked, and we now have a bootable macOS Sonoma USB drive shut down all you need to do is hold the power button and it's going to say continue holding for startup options once it says loading startup options you can release the power button it says loading startup options i release the button now you see the macintosh hd and shortly you'll see the install mac os sonoma option pop up right there that is the mac os sonoma installer on the external drive that's how you create a bootable mac os sonoma usb drive you can now take this and you can use it to reinstall sonoma on your mac or you can plug your drive into any other mac and install mac os sonoma on it